Hey guys, Roadrunner. There's Miss Ava Wee. <clears throat> so, we had to move uh, our stuff around, our preps, as a lot of people would say. Because I was losing room in the kitchen. And I wanted to put it in a bigger space because we're actually trying to find a second fridge and a freezer to go with it. Because I find so many uh, drinks and meat and stuff that hasn't even been, you know gone bad yet or whatever that it takes up space in the little fridge and freezer I got so uh we moved everything over here I ended up getting this thing back and uh <coughs> I got food and stuff stored up here as well as over here my extra blankets that I find are being stored up here and then they're gonna be stored in other places like over here for example and then Half of this rack will be toilet paper, and then either the rest of it will be toilet paper or it'll be something else. I don't know. And then I'm hoping that this rack down here will be all water. We got our first aid and our medicine, uh, ammo for different guns and stuff we have, and then I don't know what else I'm going to put over here. Probably a five gallon bucket of rice, which is the uh, next project I'm working on. I just got to find. Uh, I gotta get a couple more lids for these five gallon buckets that I'm using. And then I gotta get, uh, go, what are they called? Uh, oxygen absorbers to help with the longevity of the rice. But, uh, outside of that, everything's pretty good. I don't know if I showed y'all this before, but Aaron, a couple months back, made me a, uh, made me a knife out of a railroad spike. And I've done these before myself, of course that was years ago, but uh, he d likes to do the little t twist and stuff like that in it, and I just kept it simple. But anyways, yeah, it's a really cool knife. Everything else is the same, really. You know, I mean, I took all my uh, freeze-dried food and MREs and stuff, I put them all in here, as well as the uh, rations and the biscuits and some meat that's been salted and vacuum sealed and such that that is another thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a uh, vacuum sealed bags i'm thinking like the ones that uh have to go on the hoses of the uh vacuum cleaners and see if i could probably use those because they sell those at dollar tree i might get some tomorrow actually or tuesday i actually work tomorrow <clears throat> and then we got uh vegetable fruits and vegetables stored up here as well some beans or whatever so yeah we ended up moving all this and i'm hoping that eventually i want to get a little storage little storage house you know those little ones you see at lowe's and home depot and i want to put in the backyard and i'll move all this stuff here into it and then i'm going to get more shelvings like this and put it all around over here and try to uh because most, like I said, most of all of this over here is from dumpster diving and such. So I'm thinking, you know, the more food I find dumpster diving, the more I could put away and the more I would be in a better spot, so to speak, than a lot of people. Because, I mean, a lot of people out here, and a lot of people, a lot of y'all who are on my Facebook here in Lufkin, who are on the Angelina Now page, or what, whichever one, the uh, What's Happening Angelina page, Y'all have seen how unprepared a lot of people were. I mean, it was to the point where you've had people freaking out on Facebook. They were asking people for food, some for money, others for clothes and gas. And, I mean, like I said last night, you know, I gave what food and clothing I can give away. Uh, you know, I tried to help do what I can. And then I'm going to move all this and move it right over here into this... Uh, red shelving and all this shelving itself will also be used for a pantry or whatever it is i need to store over here so yeah we are definitely getting the inside of the of the homestead going good so me and miss aria over here aria pretty pity hi mama we are waiting for a couple more hours uh before the sun goes down where it cools off and we're going to go ahead and 
because usually when we dumpster dive, we go out to, uh, hi, Zena. We go out to Gaslight, because it's only a, a quarter mile down the road, but you only get so much stuff while you're down there, because they only throw away so many, so often, you know. I mean, when we went by there yesterday, we didn't really find a lot of stuff, because, I mean, I guess I, either somebody got it before I did, or already took all the stuff that they had. But... If you go downtown, not only do you have more dumpsters and stuff to look at, but you also have Salvation Army, because they always have, they're always throwing stuff away, clothes, food, whatever. You have Family Dollar down the road, and then you have Dollar General near my mom's house, and then if you want to walk another half, maybe another quarter mile, you got Dollar Tree, though I don't know if they have thrown anything away lately. But, uh, yeah, we're, me and her are waiting for that, and we're gonna walk. It's about a five-mile, maybe six-mile walk back and forth. I would take Ava Wee, but she's a little busy. Hi, Ava Wee. Ava Wee. You're on camera, mama. Pretty girl. You're the pretty girl. you pretty mama. Alright, so I'm gonna go let my phone sit and charge, and we'll see you guys tonight. Hopefully we find a bunch of good stuff.